Let me go back to the Stearns for one more time here. Me and a friend were playing um, in a parking area and when he was seven or eight years old. A guy came out to his truck, a small toy with a pickup truck. Hey, guys, how you doing? Gets in a truck and immediately backs over them. Mm-hmm. Uh, pushes Stefan down into a, into a bit of a, a, a hole in the, in the parking lot, drove right over him uh, and, you know, hit him in the head with the bumper as he backed up the first time. And, and then uh, if that was enough, he pulled forward and ran over him again. Uh, the fact that the Stefan isn't hit, com- they hit him in the back of the head first, and then when Stefan raised up to look, he heard the kids screaming. He quickly put it in gear, and drove forward, and hit him in the front, and then came up over his body, up over his pelvis area. The fact that he isn't uh, wasn't permanently uh, disabled and in, in wheelchair bound is is a miracle. Um, Thank the mud. But the. Um, there wasn't when when he was released from the hospital. Uh, you know, the doctor said, "Hey, you know, be, be cognizant of any any difference in his in his uh, his his attitude and his demeanor and such." And we pressed for more information, and we just told that he could have some headaches, dizziness, nausea, and sensitivity to light and stuff. May not be uh, able to, to wake up or go to sleep. Um, and, and there could be some other physical traits. He had, he developed a tick for a while mm-hmm. and, and after that, uh, he did suffer, um, from, uh, PTSD and also separation anxiety. Um, but I can't even listen to this anymore. It's just absolute bullshit. You know, uh, MM Claw from the chat. Thank you for the 199 super sticker. Yes, I'm aware. Another channel shouted out to police off the cuff today. I appreciate that. I forget the name of the channel. Someone told me about it. I appreciate that. We always like all the love. <laughs> There's not always love on YouTube, but we appreciate all the love we get from uh, whatever whatever area we can get it from in, in connection with police off the cuff. We really appreciate it. So someone else had told me that... Uh, Another show was shouting out to us and talking about, uh, specifically about the uh, interview and interrogation segment we did on how we thought that they missed a huge opportunity. And uh, I I know the show. I can see it. I can't think of the name of it right now, but thank you so much. I appreciate that. Mike? Yeah, I think it's called True Crime and Strategic Eyes or something. That's like right. That. Yes, yes. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Strategic Eyes. He's very entertaining. He's, yeah. he's got a lot of energy, that guy. Yeah. You know, go looking back at, at what they what the uh, Stearns have said, and I saw somebody in the chat say that's probably going to be his defense. Uh, yeah, uh, that may be his defense. And he may get a neurologist, maybe a pediatric, pediatric neurologist to get on, on the stand as an expert witness and talk about, you know, possible trauma that maybe it's not so much like a concussion where maybe you see some immediate changes in their sleep or maybe they're having problems in that way, but that there may be deeper issues that may uh, pop up later on that may be totally, um, you know, never be never unique and not ever seen before. So it is possible that that may be uh, an avenue that, that his attorney, defense attorney may explore um, and try to, you know, maybe win some sympathy, maybe like almost like a temporary insanity kind of thing. Um, you got to try something because both of these cases, both the um, the photos case and the, the murder case, both of them, uh, one of them's capital and the others at, uh, with the photos are at are life behind bars anyway. So there's nothing to lose in exploring every single avenue of defense that he has. So I wouldn't be surprised if if he recounted this on the stand and he had and he had a uh, a neurologist also back up that story. So it's possible. It's very yeah. possible. JW from the chat. There are so many people who have had head injuries or have serious mental illness and live lives without committing crime. That's right. This idea just adds to the stigma of mental illness. You're right. You're hundred percent right. right. Mm-hmm. Terry Jones from the chat. Did they see this accident happen, or are they going on what Stefan said? Yeah, ma, a uh, pickup truck hit me in the head and then backed up on me. I was so messed up on that van, you know. <laughs> but he was seven. Uh, that's that's a bad. Uh, uh, 
Spread butter failed to drive over a third time. Yes, that's what people are wishing now. Uh, uh, Florida girl, that's signs of concussion that we're told to watch for uh, after going home. Yes, and I don't think, you know, if the hospital released him that night when he had this this double pickup truck hit, I don't even know if it rose to the level of a concussion, you know. Uh, so it's it's really RS truly sickening. <laughs> 